Uh, the artist Mandy Martin has worked very closely alongside Mike, notably on the Strata project uh, with our colleague Libby Robin. And, and while the stage is being cleared and Mandy's coming down, can I just mention that uh, her husband and partner, uh, Guy Fitzhardinge, has also recently been awarded an AM, uh, awarded that honour for his services to the management of threatened species and to agriculture. So congratulations, Guy. <laughs> Jarrah. Um, but for me it was an extraordinary insight into the life and work of Mike. Ooh. Mike. Mike introduced us to the traditional owners and I was able to talk with the Ikunji artist who became a vital part of the project, providing painted testimony for the publication and exhibition of the significance of the sacred waterhole and the surrounding hills. Sadly, I think all of those artists have now passed away. Um, we camped some kilometres away from the rock shelter every day and every day we carted the canvases in and all the art materials and the water over the dunes. It was about a five mile hike um, and I painted three large um, canvases. These are about, well you can see, they're nearly four metres long um, and then five um, collaborative works with each of the, the researchers with Libby Robin, Guy Fitzharding, Jake Gillen and Mike. <coughs> on, this, on this day, Mike and I were sitting tucked in, uh, in against the painted rock face at, at Purit Jarrah. Close enough to see the hair wallaby footprints and also um, uh, fragments of 40C carbon on the floor. <laughs> And, and bone and sand. Um, I was intrigued about how I could work with such a distinguished archaeologist. My techniques are hardly orderly or conventional. Mike, who was up every morning in camp before dawn um, to perform his ablutions, including dressing in a neatly folded khaki shirt, ironed overnight by the headrest of his swag, was not disorderly. <laughs> We sat down at the half master diesel, in fact an ironing board, and Mike began talking about desert palimpsests. I relaxed. Palimpsests, the bread and butter of artists. We were on common ground and worked in harmony. Mike's hand merged with mine. I was his amnunensis and painted the actual ochre, sand and carbon fragments of the site literally within the layers, creating a portrait of Purit Jarrah and also an homage to the man who had unraveled the story of this place. Mike worked sort of long hours, we'd go back to camp and he continued working on the painting. I thought for one moment you were going to lose him to archaeology. I think Mike and Marnik still have that work in their collection. In the past two and a half years I've been part of an even larger group working at Baragoo, which we've also heard about today, also known as Lake Gregory in the Tanami Desert, and today co-editors and um, Steve Morton and Kim Mahood and John Carty are all here, as are a number of the writers, uh, Guy Fitzharding and Jim Bowler. The project has five strands, including an exhibition opening at Araluan Art Centre in Alice Springs on March the 1st, and a book published by CSIRO um, due to be launched the same night. Mike features in the chapter written by Jim Bowler, titled Earth Science in Traditional Lands, Bridge or Barrier. I created a major series of paintings and studies for the publication and exhibition, and they were named by Walmajari traditional owner, Hanson Pye, after the story for the, falling, for the Falling Star site. I also uh, created a 16-day menu for our trip, that particular trip, <laughs> um, which I did submit to the um, Mike's 
a dessert book, but um, because it was a very late submission, Joe's just included my uh, persimmon pudding recipe, which um, is, a, is a particular favourite when we're on camping trips. Persimmon pudding, you can use apricot as a substitute. Substitute. Um, it's a bit, you may think it's a bit wanky using persimmons, but um, we've got a very big orchard, uh, big um, persimmon tree in our orchard at home, and. I didn't actually, in that case, smuggle them into Western Australia. I don't think I actually had made the pudding in advance so we could have it um, re-steamed in the camp oven after we arrived. So <laughs> it's my contribution to the dessert book. There's also a, a DVD and a website as part of the project. We were able to include the small snippet of Mike um, in the trench um, dug according to his best grave digger's knowledge at Bungabiddy Creek, which Peter Beth has also described today. Mike sums up in his own words the passion that has driven his work across the desert for 30 years and from which we all admire and love him so much.